This is a very busy time of year for kids, right? Starting a new school year, their activities like sports, dance, music lessons all kicking in again. Well, is it as stressful for parents as it is for kids? There are certain levels of anxiety for the kids too, right? Keep in mind here. For tips on how to ease the anxiety, Gail Bell from Parenting Power joining us. One of your regular visits, Gail. And you're saying that this is a big, big deal. It seems it's really growing. We are getting lots of calls from many, many parents saying, my kid's so anxious. Yeah. And, and, you know, we, what we need to know, uh, all of us need to know and accept that anxiety is normal. Mm -hmm. It's one of those uh, fight or flight responses. So we actually need some anxiety in our life. And we, there's many things and we need to tell our children there's many things we can't control in our life. Sure. But we can control how we respond to them. So, yeah. yes, it's quite concerning how much we're hearing about anxious kids. And it's coming out in all different ways. So children that, you know, are literally um, really having a hard time being dropped off at school. Mm -hmm. they, that separation anxiety, falling asleep at night, just, just can't go to sleep. And uh, those are just two of the many examples we're hearing. So we really wanted to take the opportunity today to talk about talk about anxiety and that the, there's lots parents can do to help children. And, and number one is uh, away from the situation <laughs> when it's calm and things are really kind of even keeled, you have a full conversation, right? <laughs> Explaining things out. That's right. So we, we know and we've talked a lot about it, but we really need to take the time to set our kids up for success. So one, and if they're having anxiety now, you need to do, have that conversation more than ever and tell them that it's normal. And what parents need to do and can do is we don't want to make it something special. Okay. Do you get what I mean there? Okay. So we don't want to spend a lot of like, oh, sweetie, it's okay. And if you, if I drop you off at school and you don't cry, then I promise we'll go and get a chocolate bar after a treat school. Or so like all that. of a sudden, parents, best intentions, of course. but really it's going to backfire on you because the next thing is going, you know, the next going to school is a normal thing. So yeah. yeah, you can probably feel some anxiety about it, sweetie, but you need to know that feeling that anxiety is normal too. Sure. And Dad and I are completely comfortable knowing that you can deal with that and we'll give you strategies and help but you can get through it yeah you can get through it so uh, it's really important that we do that and on top of that we need to peel the layers back a bit Ted and look at our our children's lives it's really important that kids know routine yeah so are you taking the time to show them their week or even their day this before is what we're doing. it starts. Yeah. Before they get in the middle of it, right? And they right. start freaking out. Yeah. So if their morning is, hurry, hurry, get dressed, come on, let's go. We, we, we've got so much to do today and they don't know what's going on. They're, all they're hearing is, hurry, hurry, hurry. Yeah. It's causing anxiety. anxiety. Of course. Yes. Of course. So we want those calm mornings. Sit down with your children, eat with them, talk to yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Gail, if people want to find out more information about you, how do they do that? That is on our website at parentingpower.ca. Okay.